Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome to The Robin's Nest, where we are always baking up something fun and today is no exception, because today we're gonna be making this awesome Sailor Moon cake. Now, I really like painting and you guys always seem to enjoy when I paint on cakes. So we're gonna be doing some of that today too. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, I baked up three six inch vanilla cakes and we're gonna begin by leveling out our layers so our cake will stack nice and straight. So I'm just gonna take my cake leveler, which I have preset to my desired height, and I'm gonna begin by trimming these down, and then we can start stacking and filling them. And now we're just gonna be filling our layers with some simple white American buttercream. And if you guys want the recipe to this, just let me know, and I'll drop it in the comments down below. So we're just gonna take a little bit of our buttercream and spread it on our cake board. So we can attach our cake to our board. Then we're gonna apply our first layer, give it a little press down, and then you can fill your layers. Now that I finished stacking my layers, I'm gonna take a serrated knife and with a gentle sawing motion, we're gonna clean off all this caramelization. Now, when I'm done and I'm finished cleaning up all of my crumbs, we're gonna jump right in and start our crumb code. All right, so the first decoration we're gonna make is Sailor Moon's bow. So I'm gonna begin by adding a little bit of Tylo powder to my red fondant, which I have pre-colored with Americolor Super Red. And we're gonna get that mixed up and roll it out. Then I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut out our bow shape. And then we're gonna use a little bit of paper towel as support to hold our bow open. All right, there's our moon and I think that looks great. So we're gonna set this to dry now with our bow for a little while. And next I'm gonna work on Little Luna and then I get to paint Sailor Moon. So for my final decorations, I wanted to keep things really simple. So we're gonna add some Tylo powder to our fondant like we did before, get it mixed up and rolled out. So for this one here, I've made a little stencil of Luna the cat. So we're just gonna cut out a very simple silhouette shape, add some facial features, apply a toothpick to the back for support, and then we're gonna set that to dry with the rest of the decorations. Now for Sailor Moon, she's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna apply our stencil, but we're gonna be hand painting her with a mixture of water and gel food color.
So I finished all my decorations and I've set them aside. Now, if you guys are following along at home, you're gonna wanna let yours dry for a good 48 hours, unless you add some heat to the equation. Now here you have two options. One, you can turn the oven light on, place your decorations on a cookie sheet and put them in there for about 24 hours. Just don't accidentally turn the oven on. Or if you're like me and have a food dehydrator, it can reduce your time to just a few hours. Now, this doesn't work for all fondant decorations, only flat ones or ones that are supported really, really well. But like I said, it takes it down to a few hours and when it works, it works beautifully. Now, with that said, it's time to do our final coat of icing. So for our final coat, I'm just gonna be using the remainder of our white American buttercream that we use to fill our layers and do our crumb coat. So I'm just gonna use my small offset spatula and we're gonna give it a nice even coat. Then I'm gonna smooth it all out with my plastic bench scraper. All right guys, here is her lapel, and I think that looks great. What do you guys think? So that means we're almost done. We just need to add all of our finishing touches, and I can't wait to see this cake when it's all together. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go grab everything, put it all together, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Well, here it is, guys. What do you think? I absolutely love it. And look at little Luna. Isn't he so cute? Can I get some love for my Sailor Moon fans? <laughs> well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave lots of love in that comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.